Hello everyone. I am Dr. Rituja Thomas Grover, an orbit and oculoplastic surgeon and specializing in oculofacial aesthetics at Vision Eye Centers in New Delhi. Today we will be talking about fillers and blepharoplasty and which is the best option. So what are fillers? Fillers are basically hyaluronic acid injections which are injected under the skin to give a plumping effect, smooth out any wrinkles as well as give a good glow to the skin. Now fillers are mainly used in terms of the tear trough deformities for around the eye injections and that is what we mainly work on. They last anywhere between 9 to 18 months depending on the viscosity of the injection that is how thick an injection it is. The injections are spaced based on how much injection was given in the first sitting as well as how much treatment is required subsequently. Injections are titrated according to need. Filler injections can be repeated every year and as we go further along the requirement of injections reduces. So what is blepharoplasty and why is it done? Blepharoplasty is a surgery done in the upper lids or the lower lids for excess skin with or without bulging of the fat. So bulging of the fat is something which can be masked by fillers or they require surgery if they are too severe. In the upper lid, the injection is given along the upper eyelid to numb the area and a mild sedation is also given to keep the patient comfortable. After this, the surgeon makes an incision along the lid fold. This ensures that the incision line is masked maybe around 3 to 4 weeks down the line. Once the incision is created, the eyelid skin is removed based on the amount of excess skin present. Through this incision, the fat as well can be accessed to remove it safely and to give a better cosmetic appearance. In the lower lid, there are two options. In one option, the incision can be hidden in the pink part of the eye, that is the conjunctiva. The fat can be accessed from there. The other option is to place the incision just below the eyelashes through the skin or the transcutaneous route. In this, if there is any excess skin, that can be removed as well, especially in older patients. The fat is excised depending on how much fat removes to be excised on either side if both the sides are done in the same sitting or fat can be repositioned if the patient has a predominantly deep tear trough or hollowing of the eyelids. Can any other treatments be done along with the blepharoplasty? The answer is yes. Botulinum toxin injections can be given for wrinkles around six weeks after the surgery. In addition to this, the patient can see a dermatologist for chemical peels again six weeks after the surgery. Other treatments such as thread lifts and other additional lifting treatments can be planned maybe around 12 weeks after the surgery. How long does the effect of blepharoplasty last? It can last between 10 to 15 years depending on the aging process. Additional treatments such as fillers can be performed after blepharoplasty for additional touch-ups if needed. When can you use makeup after a blepharoplasty surgery? You can use makeup around 3 to 4 days after the surgery. However, it must be noted that there can be severe pain, swelling as well as bruising after the surgery. So this will be treated conservatively with anti-inflammatory medication and ice packs. Once the swelling subsides, the results are seen better.